Hello everyone. Uh, I did a little modification to uh, my Oryx chassis uh, dealing with the magazines. I kind of wanted to uh, pass along. Maybe uh, some of you might find this useful. Uh, our basic magazines for this thing is you got a plastic one or you've got a metal one. Uh, I do not use the plastic one because my rounds are too long, too long to fit in there. But this procedure would be a little bit different if you were using a plastic one. I use the metal ones and um, the issue I was running into was with uh, my bolt. Uh, the magazine's empty, rifle's empty. As long as I didn't touch the magazine, the bolt would work fine. Everybody would be nice and smooth. But as soon as I tried to grab the magazine, put any kind of side pressure on it, the bolt would jam up and it wouldn't go forward. Or if I already had one in there and I was trying to eject it, the bolt wouldn't slide back or I could feel it grinding when it did slide back. Um, if you're shooting the thing offhand and you got your hand on the magazine, you'd run into that issue. Or if you're shooting off a bag, if the magazine was touching the bag at all and you were trying to shoot, you would run into that issue. And uh, that wasn't a good thing for me, so I uh, figured out how to do a little fix on that. And I figured I'd pass that information along to y'all. So after looking at this thing, I kind of uh, realized that this magazine was awful loose. And the lips of the magazine were actually contacting with the bolt, depending on how you help, help this magazine. And you could see the scuff marks on the bolt there where it was actually dragging just from camming it up. So I said, well, we need, we need to kind of deal with this somehow. And I happened to uh, notice that these little screws that hold the uh, side covers on there, uh, the back one just happened to be in the uh, right spot for the magazine. The bevels on the metal magazine uh, were going to work out just perfect. I just needed to fit it in there so I could write on the bevels. Um, the screws are all the same length that hold that trim on there, but I happen to notice that the uh, bottom ones for the rear piece were actually longer. So I used those for my replacement screws and took the longer screws and put them up on the uh, back end of that thing. You can see the little um, Allen screw in, this, in the middle there, that's actually what holds the height of the magazine. It actually fits on the front lip of the mag. So you just gotta make sure you've got that magazine squared off in there so everybody's straight up and down. So I took these long screws and screwed them in and uh, actually tapered them with a grinder to uh, make them fit in there so that the magazine would, would fit in. Not tight, but good and snug. There was just a hair bit of play that I left in there and I actually kind of taper goes down a little bit but uh, you want to do this with a little bit of trial and error and go slow on those screws so you don't you don't cut too much off you see I'm just kind of taking taking a little bit off at a time here with these things I'm using a little uh, high-speed Dremel with a little grinding tool the uh, rear screws that I replaced I believe those were 8 by 32 pitch I had actually uh, sanded off the coating that was on there and put them a little uh, bluing on it to get them to match up. And uh, here we go with our fit. And now you can see no more play in the magazine. The magazine goes in and out quite nicely. Uh, everybody's centered up pretty good in there. And there's just a little bit of rock in there just to make sure everybody goes in and out nicely. and back in for a fit again. And it didn't matter how or what I did to this magazine, but I could not get that bolt to uh, hit the mag anymore, or the mag to hit the bolt, and everybody worked just nice and smooth like it was supposed to. So now it was time for a little bit of testing, to make sure the mag was straight and everybody worked fine.
Well, hopefully that was helpful to somebody, somebody out there uh, that's running one of these chassis and having that issue. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, drop something down there in the comments and I'll answer the best I can. Uh, if you liked the video, uh, give me a thumbs up and we'll catch you next time.